There are actually two squares that the queen can go to in order to create a matrix against black. Again, we're going to move up, move up the E pawn up to. Black moves the E pawn up to. But this time we're going to take the queen, and instead of for moving it to F5, which is the usual place for the matrix to take place, we're going to move the queen to F3. Now the reason why F3 also works for the matrix is because it's still attacking the F7 square. And if white takes the bishop and moves it to C4, that is also attacking the F7 square. So if you see your opponent move the queen to F3 on the second move, more than likely white is going to take that bishop, put it on C4, and then the matrix is going to happen. In order to block it, we're going to take that same knight, that G knight, and that G knight is very helpful for stopping the matrix. Take the knight, move it to F6. In that way, if white moves the bishop to C4, the knight is blocking the queen from being able to get to the F7 square to put the checkmate on black. And um, ch uh, the matrix is stopped and you'll have a pretty good game to play.